The world's smallest insect is a parasitic wasp that's so small, the males of the species don't have wings or eyes, and their mouths are just tiny holes when they even have mouths. They don't really need them because they live for only a few hours, just long enough to mate with female fairy flies and then die. This fairy fly is just at the threshold of the smallest object that the human eye can see. The most resilient species on the planet is also one of the tiniest. Tardigrades are the size of a period at the end of a sentence, and they can be found in an incredible array of environments. From volcanic vents on the deep sea floor to Antarctica's ice sheet, they've even survived the vacuum of outer space. Tardigrades have the ability to go into a state called a ton, a kind of suspended animation where they retract their heads and legs, expel the water from their bodies, and shrivel up into a small, dry ball. They can stay technically alive in this state for over a decade. In 2022, scientists scrutinizing a pothole-sized cave in northern Vietnam discovered the smallest species of snail ever found. Samian derives from the ancient Greek word for grain of sand, although this snail is even smaller than a grain of sand. You could fit five of them on a single grain. Although we tend to think of ants as small, they actually vary in size several thousand-fold. But ants at the smallest end of the ant spectrum, like the Adam ant, are truly tiny. The world's smallest frog, Mini Mum, was only discovered in 2019. Despite its brain being the size of the head of a pin, it has all the same features of a frog over 400,000 times its size and hunts termites. The Barbados thread snake is just 10 centimeters long and about as thick as a single strand of spaghetti. Its diminutive size makes its life challenging. Its mouth is so small that it doesn't open like most snakes' mouths. It can barely pop in some ant eggs or termite larvae, which is pretty much all it eats. Many of the animals on our list so far are the smallest of their genus, but this next insect is, or at least until very recently it was, the largest of its kind. The St. Helena earwig was the length of a human pointer finger, and it went extinct in the 1960s from human activity on the island where it lived. The earwig is an example of what's called insular gigantism, where an animal species moves to an island and then rapidly evolves a larger body size compared to their mainland relatives. Female St. Helena earwigs were known to be highly attentive mothers, atypical behavior for usually non-social insects the flip side of insular gigantism is insular dwarfism, where an animal moves to an island and evolves a much smaller body than its mainland relatives. One adorable example of insular dwarfism flits about the island of Cuba. The bee hummingbird is about half the size of a normal hummingbird. It weighs less than a dime and lays eggs the size of a coffee bean. The heaviest extant insect in the world is New Zealand's giant weta, which weighs as much as 85 grams. For comparison, a typical mouse weighs just 45 grams. Unlike grasshoppers, the giant weta can't jump. They're far too heavy. They can't fly either and spend their entire lives on the ground. When male giant wettas compete for mates, they use their enormous pincers to not just kill their rivals, but dismember them too. The Goliath bird eater is the world's largest extant spider, growing as big as a dinner plate. It has a leg span of up to 28 centimeters. While the Goliath bird eater eats mostly insects, it also eats frogs and rodents, spearing them with its venomous two and a half centimeter long fangs. Thankfully, it can't kill a person, although its bite has been described as existing somewhere between the pain of a wasp sting and hammering a nail into your hand. The largest insect of all time was an extinct genus of griffin fly, Meganeuropsis. It had a massive 75 centimeter wingspan and powerful toothed mandibles for tackling large struggling prey. It ruled the skies of the Permian period, before pterosaurs, birds, and bats had even evolved. During the early Permian, the earth was dominated by huge expanses of swampland, and all of that vegetation released so much oxygen that atmospheric oxygen levels were almost 50% higher than they are today. This led to some seriously large insects. The rusty-spotted cat is the world's smallest wildcat, although it looks like a permanent kitten. Rusty-spotted cats have a reputation for being fierce hunters, with eyes almost six times more sensitive to movement than a human's and highly sensitive ears. 
Incredibly, the world's largest snail is equal in mass to the world's smallest cat. The African giant snail is about the size of the palm of a human hand. This highly invasive species reproduces quickly, producing about 1,200 eggs in a single year. Entire colonies can form from the eggs of just a single individual, and it has one of the most wide-ranging diets in the animal kingdom. Plant material, fruit, vegetables, lichens, fungi, paper, cardboard, sand, very small stones, bones from carcasses, the corpses of mice and birds, and even concrete as calcium sources for its shell. In rare instances, the snails even consume each other. Scuttling on 14 legs across the ocean floor is Bathonomus gigantus, the giant isopod. It lives 500 meters below the surface, on the cold dark of the ocean floor, waiting patiently for little tufts of food, what looks like snowflakes, to fall from higher in the water column. They have to be patient and wait, sometimes for years. They are able to wait this long because their metabolism is very slow. A giant isopod kept in captivity in Japan reported survived for five whole years without eating. The largest living frog on Earth weighs more than a small dog. At 3.25 kilograms, the Goliath bullfrog can grow up to 32 centimeters in length from snout to vent and can jump almost three meters. Their jumping skills are so impressive that about 300 Goliath frogs are sent illegally to the U.S. every year for frog jumping competitions. The bootlace worm is one of the longest animals in the world, growing up to 30 meters, about the length of the blue whale. Despite the bootlace worm's insane length, it's very skinny, not much wider than a number two pencil. It sits in a clump in sand and rocky crevices on the shore of the British Isles, waiting for prey. When hunger strikes, it summons its winding branch-like appendage to strike with its highly toxic mucus. Some of the animals on Earth today once existed in megaform, like the biggest stork ever evolved. This incredibly tall stork was 1.8 meters and lived in a unique ecosystem on the island of Flores in what is now Indonesia. Not only did the island rule result in the stork's gigantism, it also led to the insular dwarfism of our ancient human relatives who lived on the island 100,000 to 50,000 years ago. Homo floresiensis used stone tools and lived in the shadows of an ancient volcano with giant predators like Komodo dragons, and they were only around 106 centimeters tall, which means Leptoptilos robustus would have been almost twice as tall, looming over them with its big, terrifying beak. The Japanese spider crab is the world's largest living crab, with a carapace 30 centimeters across, but the real size is in its legs which continue to grow even once it reaches adulthood. The Japanese spider crab spends much of its time walking on the seafloor of the Pacific Ocean around Japan, poking around steaming hydrothermal vents, scavenging for food. Despite living their entire lives underwater, these gentle giants can't swim. The largest known land invertebrate was the giant millipede, Arthropleura. It lived during the Carboniferous, and its huge body grew to the length of a small car. Despite its intimidating dimensions, Arthropleura ate exclusively dead plant matter, just like its tiny relatives do today. With a colossal wingspan of seven meters across, Argentavis is the largest known flying bird of all time. It soared through the skies of the late Miocene, casting its large shadow upon the earth below. How such a large bird like Argentavis could even fly at all has led to a lot of research. It's possible that it relied on wind currents to keep itself aloft, much like a human hang glider does, flapping only during takeoff and landing. The largest living lizard is the Komodo dragon, a hefty 70 kilograms. These fierce predators can unhinge their jaws to engulf huge hunks of meat, and then the powerful muscles of their throats gulp the meat down, mostly unchewed. Their stomach expands, and their extremely potent stomach acid can even digest bones. An adult Komodo dragon can consume up to 80% of its own body weight in a single meal. Occasionally, this special animal eats people. The largest known baboon was approximately twice the size of today's largest living baboons. While the thought of encountering this terrible ape in the wild sounds terrifying, it is likely Dinopithecus inges was actually terrified of our ancestors. 
Fossil evidence has been found of dozens of giant baboon adolescents in a massive pile, all killed by Homo erectus sometime between 400,000 and 700,000 years ago. More than twice the size of a modern wolf, these bone-crushing dogs weren't actually dogs. They were part of the genus Borophaginae, which means they were pre-dogs or near-dogs who roamed North America for millions of years, and they were totally dependent on huge prey. This became a problem as soon as the Felidae came to the Americas around 18.5 million years ago. The huge cats competed with the bone-crushing dogs for prey, and that is likely the reason that Epicyon Hayden disappeared. The terror birds are an extinct family of carnivorous flightless birds that were among the largest apex predators in South America during the Cenozoic era. The largest species of these nightmare birds was 3 meters tall and weighed 150 kilograms. The bones between their skulls and massive hook beak were fused, which allowed them to basically use their faces as a hatchet to peck animals to death with the force of a sledgehammer all after running at them at 60 miles per hour. 68 million years ago, in the wetlands of what is now Texas, USA, Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying animal of all time, stood upright. At 5 meters tall, this magnificent, massive-beaked, as dark pterosaur towered over the T-Rex, though the T-Rex was much heavier. This made Quetzalcoatlus the tallest carnivore on its continent. With the wingspan of a small airplane, its 11-meter-long wings meant it had to jump 2.5 meters into the air and then flap its wings powerfully just to pull its hefty body into the sky. Once airborne, Quetzalcoatlus likely soared like modern condors do, using its large head to guide it to complete turns. In shallow water coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, the famous giant clam can weigh up to 300 kilograms. The largest bivalve mollusk alive today, giant clams achieve their enormous proportions by consuming the sugars and proteins produced by billions of single-celled creatures called zooxanthellae that live in their tissues. By day, giant clams open their shells so that the zooxanthellae can photosynthesize in the sunlight. The colossal squid has the largest eyes of any known animal, measuring up to 25 centimeters or more, the size of a small volleyball. Its pupils are also extremely large, around 80 to 90 millimeters across. These pupils allow them to collect every photon of light in the deep dark where they live, approximately 1,000 meters below the surface, or possibly even deeper. Gigantopithecus is the largest known primate as well as the largest hominid of all time. Like the legend of Bigfoot, Gigantopithecus measured over 3 meters tall and weighed in as much as a mini caravan. Although truly intimidating in size, Gigantopithecus was a vegetarian, gnawing on bamboo and roots. It coexisted in the same time period as Neanderthals and other archaic humans, although we know very little about their possible interactions. The heaviest bird to ever exist lived alongside modern humans just 1,000 years ago, 3 meters tall and a mass of 725 kilograms. Their eggs were also the largest of any bird of all time. Each egg had a capacity to hold up to 13 liters, the equivalent of 250 chicken eggs, enough to feed an entire restaurant omelets. The hell pigs are a family of prehistoric mammals who lived during the Eocene and Oligocene epochs. The largest and most hellish of the pigs was Dayton, who had a massive 90 centimeter long skull and was as heavy as 12 people. Large scars up to 2 centimeters deep have been found on the remains of these pigs, suggesting that they fought with their own kind, even putting each other's heads in their mouths during a fight. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living species of reptile alive today. They have one of the strongest bite forces of any living animal, slamming their jaws shut with 16,460 newtons. By contrast, you might tear into a beef jerky with just 890 newtons. The males reach a whopping 6 meters and 1,000 kilograms. For a long time, it was thought that crocodiles had indeterminate growth, 
which means they keep growing throughout their lives. But it's since been discovered that they eventually do slow down their growth. However, it is true that crocs keep growing long after they reach sexual maturity. 60 to 58 million years ago, Cerejón, Colombia was a sweltering jungle. It was the world's first rainforest, and the top predator there was Titanoboa. More than 13 meters long, it was the length of half a basketball court and weighed more than a ton. The biggest snake to ever slither anywhere moved through the jungle waters like today's water-dwelling anaconda, able to eat any animal that caught its eye. Long before enormous sharks like the Great White, before even the giant marine reptiles of the age of dinosaurs, in a world where animal life had only just begun to leave the seas, Dunkleosteus was the most terrifying predator around, a very large, completely toothless fish with a head and jaws comprised of heavily armored plates that formed giant self-sharpening blades capable of slicing through the flesh and armor of other fishes. Dunkleosteus could rapidly extend its terrifying lower jaw outward, allowing it to snatch prey with incredible speed and a bite force on par with that of a giant crocodile. Dunkleosteus also had a habit of puking up the indigestible bits of its food, things like bones and the armor plating of other Dunkleosteus. Atlas was a titan in Greek mythology who was condemned by Zeus to carry the entire celestial body on his back. His myth inspired the name for the largest extinct tortoise of all time, the Atlas tortoise, who had a whopping carapace of over 2 meters. Weight estimates for the Atlas tortoise vary from 2 tons all the way up to 4 tons, and it held up all that weight on 4 super sturdy elephantine feet. While this mega tortoise's large size helped it escape predators for millions of years, it was our ancestors, Homo erectus, who threatened the slow-moving megalocellis with their hunting techniques and deadly tools. Megatherium americanum was the largest giant sloth species, up to 10 times the size of today's living sloths, weighing up to 4 tons. During the last ice age, large numbers of these massive vegetarian animals roamed across the Americas, from South America all the way to Alaska. It could walk on its hind legs, standing a full 3.5 meters tall, the largest bipedal mammal of all time. Cut marks from human tools have been found in fossilized giant sloth bones. They were yet another megafauna who provided a large quantity of meat for hungry ancient human clans. Known for their iconic namesake proboscis, a bull southern elephant seal is about 40% heavier than a male northern elephant seal, twice as heavy as a male walrus. And if you are unlucky enough to have it mistake your Honda Civic for another bull southern elephant seal, it is 2.8 times heavier than your car and can seriously mess it up. The southern elephant seal species also exhibits the greatest sexual dimorphism of any mammal with males usually about five to six times heavier than females. Only the strongest, most dominant males win the right to mate, and harems defended by the most powerful males can reach sizes of 150 females. Despite their massive size, the males can go without food for up to three months at a time, thanks to their extended fasting metabolism, where their metabolic rate drops to about one-third of normal allowing them to conserve energy and rely on their stored fat reserves for fuel. The woolly mammoth is the most well-known of all mammoth species, thanks to entire specimens frozen in time in the permafrost of Siberia and Alaska. Their iconic curved tusks were far larger than that of a modern elephant. For generations, humans hunted mammoths, using their tusks to create everything from dwellings to the world's first musical instruments. While most woolly mammoths went extinct about 10,000 years ago, along with other megafauna during the Quaternary Extinction event at the end of the last ice age, a few hung around for thousands of years, living in isolated island locations. The last woolly mammoth inhabited Wrangell Island off the coast of Russia, where the isolated population suffered from the phenomenon called genomic meltdown, which happens when animals become inbred over generations. Because of its genetic 
genetic mutations, the very last mammoth likely had very pale hair that couldn't insulate it very well and lacked the ability to smell, leading to chaos in the social order. Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded it in size, T. rex is estimated to have exerted the strongest bite among all terrestrial animals of all time. The T. rex's skull rigidity, like that of a hyena or crocodile, enabled it to bite down on its hapless prey with a force upwards of 64,000 newtons. Comparable to that of a hydraulic press, its banana-sized teeth were not razor-sharp or piercing. They were blunt and thick to withstand that massive bite force. Because T. rexes ranged in size, they completely dominated the food chain during their reign. They were the top predators in every size category, and few other predators could even compete. Imagine a manatee, but 9 meters long and weighing 10 tons, calmly floating around the Commander Islands of the Bering Sea, chewing on kelp and snorting above the water like a horse. By the time the Great Northern Expedition encountered Stellar's sea cows in the 1700s, these slow-moving Cyrenians were found only in this one location. Tragically, within 27 years of its discovery by the Russians and Europeans, the gentle, easily caught mammal, who reportedly tasted like almond butter, was hunted into extinction. Most 18th century naturalists had thought of the sea as an inexhaustible resource, and the very concept of extinction was considered impossible at the time. The unfortunate loss of the sea cow helped shift this understanding. The famous Brachiosaurus looked a bit like a giraffe, holding its head very high on its long neck to eat the leaves of ginkgo trees and conifers. It also ran hot, temperature-wise, that is. By measuring the ratios of certain isotopes in Brachiosaurus teeth, scientists have calculated Brachiosaurus temperature to be 38.2 degrees Celsius. While they are unsure why large dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus were so hot, their high temperature likely meant that they had to consume extreme quantities of vegetation each day, possibly influencing the evolution of plants of the time to grow back faster. The largest of the toothed whales, the sperm whale is known for its square head and tremendous jaw, which holds up to 52 conical-shaped teeth in the lower half, each tooth weighing a kilo. Their bodies are longer than a semi-truck, and they have the largest brain of any creature to have ever lived on Earth, five times bigger than the human brain. Although proportional to body size, our brains are much bigger. Sperm whales have language, a shared culture, even a sense of self. They identify themselves with clicking vocalizations, sort of like Morse code. And in this whale language, they share first and last names and group associations. Current experiments with AI may soon lead to human communication with sperm whales. But the biggest, baddest ocean predator the world has ever seen was a shark. The largest megalodon sharks are estimated around three times longer than the biggest great white in the sea today. Fossil evidence suggests that megalodon was a far more powerful predator than today's opportunistic feeding great whites, preying on literally everything. Unlike the great white, which attacks prey from the soft underside, the ferocious megalodon probably used its strong jaws to break through the chest cavity and puncture the heart and lungs of its prey. Weighing in at a thunderous 75 tons, Argentinosaurus was potentially the largest dinosaur of all time, and possibly the largest land animal ever. As tall as a six-story building and the length of three buses, this tree-eating giant with a relatively small head lived during the late Cretaceous in what is now Argentina. Its back was like a bridge made from bone, strong enough to support its weight, but still light enough to produce a dinosaur of such immense size. Something else that helped Argentinosaurus and some of the other dinosaurs to grow big while not being crushed by their own weight was their hollow bones and the air sacs in those bones and throughout their bodies. The air sacs were like the air technology of a Nike shoe, adding cushioning and support without adding much weight. No one knows exactly how big an animal can get. It's possible that finding enough food limited Argentinosaurus from getting even bigger than it already did. 
or structural issues meant it couldn't get any bigger. But it's also possible that larger animals have evolved or will evolve in the future. In the 19th century, even bigger giant sauropod bones were discovered. A partial vertebra reported to be of insane proportions and a distal end of a femur also of insane proportions. Then, the bones vanished. At the time in the 19th century, the process of preserving fossils was still in its infancy, so most fossils were not treated with preservatives. They had been fossilized in mudstone, which easily erodes, so maybe they simply crumbled after they were taken from the ground. Either way, the mysterious Marabunosaurus, if it actually existed, is thought to have been 80 to 120 tons, which would have made it the largest land animal of all time. There is an animal with a heartbeat so loud you can hear it from almost two miles away. The heart of the blue whale is the biggest heart on the planet, about the size of a small car. It beats only two to eight times per minute because of the whale's large size and slow metabolism. The whale with the biggest heart is also the biggest known animal of all time, on land or sea. To give you a sense of just how heavy it is, picture 25 adult elephants, 300 adult male polar bears, or 15 city buses. Being big is, in itself, given the right conditions, an evolutionary advantageous path. The blue whale's sheer size allows it to store vast amounts of energy in its blubber. This huge store of energy allows it to travel great distances to find its food source, krill. The blue whale evolved to be the very best krill eater of all time and lunge feed, a highly efficient form of feeding that requires minimal energy. But the blue whale's size is also its vulnerability. The blue whale needs to be big enough in order to eat enough to be big. It's a catch-22. But as big as the blue whale is, nothing beats the total collective weight of ants on Earth. We are a small team at Posit, and we spend hundreds of hours on each video we make. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, like, and subscribe. You can also go to the link in the description to buy a t-shirt.